Hey everyone, my name is Taps, and today I'm gonna to be going through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create and use a MetaMask wallet. I'll be covering exactly how to use the wallet, what the details of it are, and the three main reasons on why you'd want a MetaMask account, which are one, to buy, sell, and store crypto, two, to buy NFTs, and three, to stay crypto. As always, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the community and feel free to subscribe. I'm a crypto stock and real estate investor, but never a financial advisor. I have actually put timestamps down below. So if you already have a MetaMask account and just kind of wanted some more knowledge around how to use it and maybe aren't familiar with the main functions yet, go ahead and feel free to skip ahead. But before we actually get to the main functions of MetaMask, I'm actually going to create a new MetaMask account so you can follow along and I'll explain how the wallet info works. So I'm gonna actually be doing this on my iPad. So I'm gonna be looking down when I do this. So you go to metamask.io and you can see that it's compatible with Chrome, Firefox, Brave browser, and Edge. A direct browser plugin, but you can actually download the app from your smartphone or an iPad. So I'm actually gonna download the app and go that route for my iPad. Click download, open. And now that we're here, we're just gonna click get started. Create a new wallet. Here I'm gonna enter a password, and then you're creating your wallet. So this part is important. It's gonna show you a secret recovery phrase, and so you wanna write this down or store it somewhere very safe, and make sure you don't lose it, because if you're locked out of your account and you don't have this, good luck trying to get back in. It's gonna be a 12-word secret phrase that you're gonna to wanna to write down, and then it'll ask you to input it. And then you'll enter it, and it says, congratulations, you now have your MetaMask set up. And then once on the screen, it'll actually do a, you can take a tour or no thanks, up to you, but I'm going to be covering some of the details of the account with my other account in this video. Okay, now that you actually have the account, let's understand the info inside it. Now, if you have the app, you just click on the app, or if you have the plugin, make sure that you have it pinned to your bar up top. So this number at the top, right underneath MetaMask, this is your MetaMask address, which is the main one on Ethereum. You can click this bar up at the top. If you want to actually switch mainnets, if you want to like transact with maybe something on like Matic or on Binance. When I click into Matic, you'll see, well, I guess you won't see, but my address stays the same. Most MetaMask users do use the Ethereum mainnet as it is the most transacted currency. But we're seeing a rise in others for NFTs and new decentralized exchanges like QuickSwap, which uses Matic, which is much cheaper and much faster to transact than using Ethereum. You'll usually see the plugin like this size, but I'm gonna blow it up for the sake of this video. So if you wanted to actually send Ethereum to this wallet, let's say from like Coinbase or crypto.com, you just click withdraw Ethereum in Coinbase and choose to scan a QR code and click to scan a QR code to send it to your MetaMask wallet, which can be found by clicking on these three dots, click account details, and then you would scan it in your crypto.com or Coinbase app or whatever, and it would have this address input it. Now, if you want to send another cryptocurrency besides Ethereum, you'll need to actually add that token to your MetaMask wallet, which I'll show in a minute. This big button at the top shows where you can adjust settings. You can import an account, create another account, see your balance, connect a hardware wallet, or ask for support. These three buttons underneath your overall Ethereum balance are of course to buy more Ethereum, send this Ethereum to another wallet, or to directly swap with other tokens in this wallet. If you wanted to send another token or buy another crypto through your MetaMask wallet, you'll need to add the token first, which I've chosen one at random. I'm not saying I'm invested in Alice, nor should you, but I wanted to just pick a random token project that I'm familiar with that I could put into MetaMask. So the first step would be to to go to coinmarketcap.com or CoinGecko, it's your preference. You can then click this fox and it'll actually go ahead and add the token directly. Or if it doesn't have that function, then you would click add token. You can search for it here or click custom token and you can click on that contract address and it'll usually give you the information or you can Google it, but be careful to make sure that it's not a scam of that token. But we can see that it does have the MetaMask fox. So we click that button you can see Alice, add token. When I click in the plugin and then go all the way down, we see Alice is now registered in my MetaMask wallet, but no tokens have been purchased yet. So now that we actually have our MetaMask wallet up and you understand the basics, 
Let's go into, again, how to use it, what the main functions of it are. And in my opinion, there's really, again, those three main functions, which are, of course, buying, swapping, and selling crypto, buying and selling NFTs, and staking crypto, whether it's on direct websites or in liquidity pools. So we're gonna actually use Alice. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click market, and we can see all the different places I could buy Alice are on Binance and Bitthumb and Uniswap, crypto.com, and we can also see the pairing. So in order to buy on Binance, you would need USDT, BUSD, or Bitcoin. But one of the benefits of having MetaMask is it ties to a lot of decentralized exchanges like Uniswap and OneInch, QuickSwap. So if I wanted to just connect my wallet direct and buy it off Uniswap, I would wanna swap it for Ethereum because it's in my MetaMask wallet, right? I'm just gonna click right here and it takes me directly to Uniswap to swap. So what I would do is I'm gonna click select a token. I'm then gonna type in Alice. You can see it right here, click import. We now have Alice loaded. Let's say I want to by 0.01, so we can see for 0.01 Ethereum, $32, it is 2.46 Alice. I would then click swap. I would then confirm swap. Now this is the piece where people get hung up on because when you're using a wallet, you see fees, right? But you're not really thinking about gas. And gas is what it costs to transact in the crypto world. And gas fees go up or down depending on how many people are transacting given that time on Ethereum. So we can see, even though it's $32, there would be roughly around $26 additional just to get this swap confirmed. Now you haven't purchased it yet because you need to actually reject or confirm the order. And one thing I do is if I'm not in a rush, I'll go to edit up here and then I'll click low. So it'll take the transaction a little bit longer, but I'll basically wait in the queue just to have it happen whenever. You can also speed it up by clicking high if you're trying to like secure an NFT really fast and it auto selects medium. So I personally would click low, save. And you see, if I wanted to actually transact this, it would basically be double the price just to do this low amount. But probably if I was doing something like $300, it would still be roughly around $32. Yeah, as we can see, I just adjusted it to $320. And again, that fee is roughly around $30. Now gas, ebbs and flows on how expensive it is. And because there's been such NFT mania, it's been really, really high. But you can always check that by going to gasnow.org. I have this open every single day. So that way I know when there's good times to transact. So we can see it shows fast, standard and slow times. And anything close to like 40 to 70 right now, is good. I've seen it as high as 700 to close to a thousand in the past, which means you're spending a lot of money on gas, which sucks. And a lot of this will be fixed with Ethereum 2.0, but that's coming sometime in 2022. So you can check this to see opportune times to make those transactions. Now, the second reason for having a MetaMask is because Ethereum is the most used for NFTs, right? So in this example, I'm gonna go into OpenSea, which is the most used marketplace for NFTs. And I could type in a project like Ford Ape Yacht Club. You can see it pops up and the blue check marks are usually indicators of it being a verified collection because there's sometimes scam artists who will create something that looks similar. Now for the sake of time, I just chose an NFT that I have and I know that there are more available to mint. So this is my little guy who's a companion who exists in the Nemesis metaverse, which looks dope. I'm gonna click the Nemesis companions and it takes me to overall Nemesis page. We can see the floor price, the volume traded, the, the total companions and how many owners there are. Let's say I wanted to buy this guy. I would click in, I would then go ahead and I could make an offer and see if I could get it for lower, but if I just wanted it now, I would click buy now. I have read this information, click check out, and you'll see again, your MetaMask pulls up and you can do the same thing that you did to purchase cryptocurrency. You can play with the gas, lower it, higher it, whatever you wanna do. And again, once you click that confirm button, it starts the transaction and goes through. There are many projects that you can also nab during drop time on the direct websites before they go to OpenSea because I would have been purchasing that companion from someone who already owns it. So in this example, Frogland currently has a drop and we can see of the 10,000 left, there is 7,698. So instead of me going to OpenSea, I would just go ahead and connect my wallet to their website, click mint, and again, same process. And the last main function is to stake certain crypto on the actual crypto's websites. In this example, I'm gonna be using Alluvium, which has phenomenal APYs. 
and I am actively staking. So I'll click into the core pool and you can see it's not showing me exactly what the APYs are right now because I need to connect my MetaMask wallet in order for it to make sure that I'm on an Ethereum network, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and click connect wallet, MetaMask, boom. Very, very fast and it's very functional with tons and tons and tons of projects. And we can see if you have Alluvium, ILV, and you choose to stake it in their core pool, it has a 73% APY over 12 months. And then you would just click stake and you can choose to do flexible, you can choose to do locked, and you can see it goes all the way down to 37% for just one week. And you can move that needle and every side is different, every crypto is different, but I'm showing ILV because I do have my ILV staked in both the core pool as well as the Sushi liquidity pool, which has incredible APY as well. And again, you can do this with many crypto that has staking on their websites. Just make sure that you've had that crypto purchased through your MetaMask with Ethereum or you've directly sent that crypto to the MetaMask wallet so it's in there. But also don't forget where you're staking your crypto. Write down that maybe you have some on the Luvium website, some on the Zillica website, whatever you're staking, but do not forget because it'll stay there until you claim it. So that's my little crash course on how to create a MetaMask wallet and what its primary uses are. Congrats, now you have an incredibly versatile tool to buy and trade crypto, stake, and to buy NFTs. If you have any questions or run into any snags, let me know via the comments and I'll be happy to help out. As always, I hope you found my content valuable, and if so, please leave a like and a comment down below. The likes and comments appease the algo overlords and help my channel to continue to grow. And if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell for future content. That's it for today. I'm Taps. Thank you for your time, man. Happy trading.